We all know the feeling. You're riding a ferry and you hope to see an orca. But as much as we love those close calls, it's not good for the safety of the orcas. New technology just launched here in the Pacific Northwest is helping keep an eye and monitor those orcas to cut down on those close calls. Like any ferry trip, you keep your eyes peeled for orcas. But today, ladies and gentlemen, if you look up our port side, you will see some deer. It wasn't what you'd expect. We just saw deer in the water. A trip without orcas is a bummer for these riders. Home, uh, Pastor, Cap All clear. But Captain Reed feels differently when he sees one in front of his vessel. How do I get out of the situation? To avoid them, he taps into a network that relies on hydrophones that listen underwater. Here's a couple alerts. Plus people's reports to pinpoint orca locations. But there's a problem with that. Once the sun goes down, the alerts pretty much stop. You'll see the fiend, and that's an unmistakable. A new infrared camera is helping fix the issue. The ocean is in dark because it's much colder. Down at the bottom, you can see the shape of the killer whales. Gonzalo Bandacruz with nonprofit Quiet Sound says a new infrared camera is the first of its kind on the West Coast and is a game changer for monitoring orcas after the sun has set, and they still need to keep an eye on orca movement. If they are not communicating, they are not clicking, or they are not uh, singing, is uh, nobody will know that they are there. So without this camera, these orcas would go undetected? Most likely. And that means large vessels don't know when to slow down overnight. Not necessarily because of worries about hitting the orcas, but they need to slow and quiet their engines. Helping them have a quiet sound where they can thrive. Because orcas rely on listening to find and eat salmon and sound pollution from large vessels can hinder their ability to hunt, knowing where they are day or night can give captains time to slow down. For us, it's a game changer. It's uh, helping us to just up our game enormously. For now, they just have that one infrared camera near Port Townsend, but they do hope to add at least a few more into the network to keep an eye on the orca's comings and goings. And don't forget, if you see an orca, you are asked to report it to the Whale Report Alert System. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.